Today, in our natural gas kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make a pork schnitzel with a twist. My very own pork schnitzel with lemon dill sauce. What we have here is a nice 10 ounce pork chop. So what we do, gently remove the actual fat and then cut the meat on half. So basically you have about two five ounce pork chops. So what we do now in order to start tenderizing, you take a gallon bag, you got just to cut it down the line. It's gonna open all the way through. And what that does when we put the schnitzel under, what this does when it covers the meat is that helps for the meat not to break down if you go directly with the tenderizer, uh, makes it even size and as well as prevent from splash in the kitchen. So now what we do, we're gonna have to tenderize at the schnitzels and shape them up, so to speak. So I don't recommend the nails part because it's gonna break, tear apart the meat. I recommend the flat part. As you can see, it's not about the power, how hard you do, it's about technique. Voila, it's all ready. Now what we do is we're gonna set up our dredging station for our schnitzel. So what we do here, we're gonna start with a cup and a half of heavy cream. Take the schnitzel, put it into the heavy cream, and then straight into the pan. All you have to do is just shake that, flip on the other side, shake it again. So now the schnitzel is ready to go straight in a hot skillet. So what we have here now, we are ready to fry our schnitzels. I recommend uh, vegetable oil or canola oil. And what is good about here, since we have an all natural gas oven, I like it to medium to medium high. And that's what is good about it when you have a natural gas oven, you can easily adjust the temperature. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna let fry the schnitzel for about two minutes per side, and then we'll flip it over. That way it will give us a nice a golden brown color. And now, we are ready for the schnitzels. So we're gonna put them gently into the oil. And that's what you wanna see on the side. And the oil is nice and hot. This is so nice when you work with a gas stove. So you can control the temperature and have equal cooking at all the time. Okay, now we gotta check the bottom. And that's a beautiful. As you can see, you have a great color, but it's up to you folks if you wanna make it crispier. But sometimes crispier doesn't mean better because sometimes it dries out inside. So you just gotta have a nice, that beautiful golden brown like it is right now. We're cooking with gas now, buddy. Look at that. Woo! I bet you that tastes great. No, actually wonderful, because I did it on a gas stove. What we do, we gotta do carefully, pick up the schnitzel, just take the excess oil. You see how it is nice and darker? So what we do now for the plating, we put the schnitzels on a plate, then we go back and get the sauce. And the sauce, it's lemon dill sauce, that you can find the recipe on our website. So we gently pour the sauce over the schnitzel, then we grab some fresh chopped dill, garnish that on the top, and this is optional, but it goes very good with it, grilled lemon as a garnish. And here is the final product, your excellent pork schnitzel.